Hi. Uh, do any of you know if uh, any work has been done, research, on the ketogenic diet and this metabolic approach in the world of infectious disease, bacterial, viral, parasitic, uh, whether as a primary approach or as an adjunct? And in particular, I'm thinking about things like chronic Lyme disease and stuff in that family. I, I do know, like, on the, the innate immune response piece, the LDL particle has a protein, the uh, LPS uh, binding protein. So LPS is a bacterial fragment that can be very inflammatory when it makes its way into vertebrate, you know, circulatory systems. And so this is one of the, the you know, biological trade-offs that's going on. Somebody that has higher lipoproteins will be able to clear something like LPS out of the system much more effectively. And definitely anecdotally, uh, we hear some interesting studies about, you know, uh, decades-long Lyme infections that have not responded to anything else, responding to something like a ketogenic or even like a carnivore-type intervention. Amazing question. And so earlier today, you heard from Brianna Stubbs. She recently, with John Newman, published a paper about adipocyte inflammation. This is an animal model, by the way. But they showed a shift in the T helper subsets within the fat tissue that's characteristic with metabolic inflammation. So as we gain more visceral adipose tissue, we get an infiltration of various immune cells, macrophages, T helper cells, T lymphocytes, that release inflammatory cytokines that cause this feed-forward cycle of more fat on fire, if you will, to dumb it down. But the research review that they highlighted, which you can find, I shared it on my Instagram recently, they highlighted some words from a Dr. Clemson, I think was his name, and he actually showed that, the, this, again, in animals, that the ketogenic diet did upregulate innate immune system activity in the lung tissue. So mucosal immune cells are you know, affected by our metabolism. So the more insulin res resistant we become, we do lose tolerance within our immune system. So you mentioned Lyme disease and other chronic inflammatory autoimmune disorders. We know that changes in the microbiome that Ted talked about and changes that you heard about with John Rowe, Acromenzia mucinophilia, the gut bacteria change with the ketogenic diet, uh, increases T regulatory cells. So I think for chronic inflammatory disorders, there's certainly hope, a acute, inflammation from infections, I don't know that there's any research, at least in humans at this point, but maybe animals. Thank you.